everyone. Welcome back to Good Morning Games. My name is Jason. This is Alex. And today we are going to talk about the Nintendo Direct that just happened. Um, we pretty much just got over with it about an hour ago. And so we're just going to give our, our thoughts on what we saw here. And they keep on bolstering um, 2022. Oh, yeah. 2022 is shaping up to be pretty nice uh, if you're a Switch owner. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good direct. There was a uh, few surprises in there. I was really happy about. Yeah, I, um, I'm usually pretty like, I'm usually pretty. Uh, I, I get, I try not to get my hopes up too much, but I always do get my hopes up a lot. Yeah. This was this was probably the best I've done, where I was just kind of like, I'm not expecting very much, and I, yeah. and I and I kind of stuck with that because, I I mean, my thought was just like. I, we already knew like almost a game every single month that was like a first party. So I'm just like, I don't know. I just didn't know what else they could reveal. And I kind of felt like anything we got is a bonus. So yeah, I mean, I, I was pleased. It wasn't like amazing, but I, I was fine with it. A lot of people, I mean, the Twitter instant reactions from the gaming community is like a lot of people are really high on this direct and that's, that's great. Uh, I, I thought it was a good direct just, if I'm talking like personally, I'm not a Xenoblade or Fire Emblem guy. So like the bigger, I feel like those were kind of the bigger reveals. Like they were the bookends. Like it started with Fire Emblem and it ended with Xenoblade. Um, and those are great. I'm glad they're coming out. So that now the the next direct, <laughs> hopefully there's neither of those things. <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not super into Xenoblade either, and I still want to be. It's like the one franchise that they have that, like, I don't know. For some reason, like, I, I like RPG, like, that, like, JRPGs more than you. I feel like I, mm -hmm. like, I, I feel like everything about these games I should like. I've just picked up Xenoblade 2 a couple times and gotten like five hours in and then just like stopped. And you're just like, so, why am I playing this? <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know. I like every time I see a trailer, I'm like for any of these type of games, I'm like, man, maybe I feel like I'd like that. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You want to, maybe we can just kind of go through um, in order. Um, so yeah, the, the first thing that was announced was fire emblem warriors, uh, three helps, which comes out June 24th. 2022 and um it's kind of like a age of calamity um type thing here um yeah i i was a little bummed because i i really liked three houses um and i had there was a lot of rumors going around that there was going to be a brand new fire emblem and i was much more excited for that i i'm not crazy about the warriors games um so i i was a little disappointed but um yeah the, i've just never been a big warriors game guy how about you no um the only one that i've played that i really enjoyed was age of calamity and that's just because i like the breath of the wild world so much uh but you're totally right like this definitely looks like uh they're just applying that formula of hey let's make a new war like they made fire emblem warriors and then they released three houses which was the new mainline game and now they're making a warriors game based on the new mainline game which is like the same route they yeah. went with Hyrule Warriors and then Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I, I'm kind of interested if they'll do that for any other Nintendo franchises. There were rumors that there was going to be a Mario Musou game, um, like Mushroom Kingdom Warriors or something like that. And uh, I think this kind of means that that is not in the works. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I mean that that you may never have know, just been a but... crazy rumor, but yeah, you never know. But I. It definitely wouldn't be coming this year if it's something that's happening. Yeah, definitely not. Um, so yeah, we, we'll have to see. Um, we'll have to see how that is. And I, I don't know. Yeah, there was a bunch of rumors about a new Fire Emblem, but we'll just have to see. Maybe that's next year. Um, so then after that, so I felt like these first like six announcements were like rapid fire yeah and i, and I was like oh my they were god cooking yeah i was like i was like this trick's gonna be amazing because they made yeah. like so then they they covered the advance wars reboot camp um and that was just they went they did that in like 30 seconds and i was expecting yeah. them to spend like five minutes on it um it so, looks awesome yeah it looks awesome um 
It's scheduled for April 8th, which I'm pretty sure that's what it said in the eShop it is. for like months, which is just hilarious that like they never <laughs> technically never said when it was, but they just had the release date in the eShop. Um, yep. Yeah, that's awesome. It looks really good. Uh, I think they mentioned like they, they gave a couple details like there's going to be full voice acting in this game, which after Legends Arceus, I'm all in for any voice acting in yeah. any video game, regardless of how good or bad it is like it's just nice that it's there and they mentioned uh there will be online play obviously so that's really good to to hear that yeah. um yeah i'm i'm super excited for advance wars one plus two reboot camp yeah um yeah i'm really excited for this um so I had played, and I'm sure we've talked about this, I've like played the Advance Wars games back in the day, but not really. Like it wasn't, I wasn't as into like tactics games as I am now. And um, everything I've seen from Advance Wars is, seems very similar to um, Wargroove, which like I think Wargroove is pretty heavily based on Advance Wars. So um, yeah, yeah, I'm really excited to to play this. Wargroove was great. It was not like I would give Wargroove probably like a seven and a half out of 10. Like it's a really solid, really good game. But Advance Wars is definitely more in like the eight to nine range for me. Um, I, I think it's a it's a better game than Wargroove. So I think you'll like it a lot. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out on April 8th when it comes out. Mm-hmm. Um, next one they showed was No Man's Sky. Uh, kind of surprising. I didn't hear anything about this coming to Switch. Um, it just looks like no man's sky but the i thought if i remember right the resolution like the it looked a little choppy or a little low res or something i remember obviously yeah you know it, xbox one game coming to switch yeah it did i still thought it looked pretty nice I, like i yeah i was pretty I, I was kind of in the same as you like i was kind of almost look at like it there were definitely some it wasn't as good but i was expecting it to be even worse because i was like looking for just really shitty graphics like yeah. i was like oh man this is gonna be terrible and I, I i didn't think it looked that bad it was definitely worse but um yeah i never played this before um i've heard tons about it um, yeah. I, know, I know it was really popular for a while so um yeah I'll, I'll have to look into it more yeah i haven't uh i haven't played that either but that one's coming i don't even know if they gave a release date uh one. just summer okay cool mm-hmm uh the next one they announced this was the first big surprise i'd say i mean obviously the the fire emblem muso game but um the next one they announced is mario strikers battle league which looks just awesome it looks so good uh yeah. this is the first mario strikers title since 2008 uh when they had one on the wii and it some of the stuff they showed like apparently like gear and like unlockable gear that you could see that you're wearing while you're playing the game is now plays a big part in this. Um, so it looks like you're always trying to upgrade your gear and stuff, which is always a fun element for like a, a fast paced sports game. Um, I don't know. What'd you think? I thought it looked awesome. Yeah. I thought it looked awesome. It looked, um, so I, I didn't play the old, old Mars strike was very, very much. I never owned it. I had like just rented it a bunch. Yeah um so i <laughs> just rented it like 15 times yeah um <laughs> um so I, I don't remember exactly like how much this is similar I, I think it used to be three on three um but uh what i do know is i thought it looked um i think it's awesome how like much of a battle aspect it has to it yeah um that definitely seems like it's it's part of like the game plan now um and it's five on five now um it uh it's launching on june 10th so don't have to wait too long for that one but um this like we got mario tennis kind of early in the switch if i remember right kind of early in the switch life and then did we have another mario sports game until golf last year no i don't think so yeah so it's kind of cool they had like the they had the like uh mario sonic tokyo games oh no but but i don't think that's yeah that's not no yeah. Yeah. So that's cool that we're getting two Mario sports games in two years, kind of back to back. That's kind of mm-hmm. awesome. Um, and yeah, didn't hear any rumors about this or anything. So that's I'm I was super happy when I saw this. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's it looks awesome. Um, it. I wonder. I do wonder if it's. Um. You know, they had purchased. Uh. Next level games. 
mm-hmm. and that was who had done the original Mario Strikers. And um, you know, the last thing they did was Luigi's Mansion Three. So I wonder if this is them. I wonder. If oh, they, I bet it is. Yeah. yeah. I, wonder, I wonder if they they bought him and immediately put him on Strikers. Yeah, I I, I bet this is almost definitely next level games because luigi's mansion came out two years ago right two and a half years ago yeah september or october like 2019 i think okay yeah so yeah this that would make sense then yeah um so yeah then they went on to splatoon 3 but it wasn't really like a it's it was only it was just a trailer for the co-op like what they call (laughs) sam salmon mode Um, yeah the salmon run yeah so um I I assume that they'll they'll probably be a full direct or something dedicated to Splatoon before that comes out. I just yeah. or or at least a lot of info getting dumped because they still haven't really like they haven't given that much about it, especially if it's coming out this summer. I thought that was going to be really be the focus of this direct, um, but no, they, they didn't too much. Yeah, I think a Splatoon direct for late spring, early summer is like a guarantee at this point, so they could just. Uh, you know, pummel us with info about Splatoon 3. Yeah. But yeah, this was just uh, all about the Salmon Run next wave, which is what they're calling the co-op mode. Had sort of a darker feel to it. It looked kind of cool. Yeah. Um, the music was weird. Yeah, I, it was very weird. This yeah. whole direct was very weird. <laughs> yes, it, it was. It was very weird. Yeah, we, we didn't really say that. I actually meant to say that at the beginning. I thought the exact same thing. <laughs> Just I don't, the, the strangest shit coming out for the Switch now. <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah, it was weird. And I think it was because, you know, like we kind of said, they, they already had this huge lineup. And so, like, I kind of wasn't expecting that much more. And it seemed like, it seemed like the little, like, 30-second things were the games we knew about. And so it was like, they'd focus on, like, a game we, yeah. a, a bigger game that we knew about. Like, even Triangle Strategy, I was like, they're going to focus on this forever. And they did like 30 seconds yeah. and, we're, and we're like, and we're like a demos out. Now you play, which is awesome. We'll get to that. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was just weird. They did that. And then they, the big focuses were on new things, but they were just all like random things. <laughs> mm-hmm. A lot of, a lot of strange stuff uh, in this direct. And yeah, just like the Splatoon three trailer, it was only co-op, which is like, what, why, why not show a little bit of the single player? Yeah um but so yeah like i remember the the splatoon 3 teaser had it was like the lighting it was like a really bright like sort of washed out desert looking yeah. uh game and this was not that it was like a dark red sky like very dark um like sludge covered salmon thing mm-hmm. it was it was cool uh but it was kind of a different vibe from what the first teaser showed so excited to see more of this game yeah um so then the next next thing they did was front mission remake of the first and then they announced the second as well i don't know what these are um <laughs> yeah i don't i think they're square enix games uh it, lo- it was looked like a kind of like a mech um tactics game mm-hmm. uh, but the, the, the way they described it um like they made it seem like people like we should know what they are so yeah ma- ma- so, so <laughs> they made me feel stupid yeah. for not knowing what front mission first is yes yeah, so, so sorry if we're, we just missed out on these but yeah we're just the chads who don't know <laughs> the deep cuts <laughs> yeah yeah I, i've never heard of either of these but um that's cool i again yeah I, they look fun yeah. uh it was very strange because they were like front mission first full remake is coming this summer and then they said front mission second and then the release date was sometime in the future <laughs> yeah like that was the wording they used <laughs> sometime in the future we'll get the second front mission game out on switch yeah. like yeah again just adding to the weird tone of this direct because i'd never seen that that like wordage used as a release date yeah um yeah that was that was weird um <laughs> yeah like what's that mean <laughs> <laughs> sometime in the future that could be five years from now <laughs> <laughs> yeah um then we got Disney Speedstorm, which we got Chocobo Grand Prix pre coming. And, yeah. <laughs> and they dumped this on us too. It, it looked fine. And well, here's the thing. I mean, it, it, it looked, looked kind of, it looked kind of junky. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but I will say this is free. So I, it is I, free. So that's fine with me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to try it. Uh, but it, it looked, it looked a little sloppy, a little, uh, 
like the graphics and stuff like you could obviously tell they're disney characters but they all look kind of like shitty <laughs> like they're shitty models of the characters and stuff like, yeah it, it's kind of the same way i felt about that uh chocobo when they th- that was the last direct when they were like chocobo grand prix it was kind of the same feeling it like a, yeah it was just uh, you know kind of shitty <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah and it yeah but it's free to play so you could probably start with like four characters and then end up paying like 30 bucks each for another character <laughs> so uh but anyway that's coming out this summer um we're getting star wars the force unleashed on april 20th um but it's not the 360 version it's the wii version so it looks again looks just kind of weird and low res and not great um but so there's a new star wars game coming out um just rifle through some of these real quick assassin's creed the ezio collection is coming out (laughs) again that looked like a ps2 game like that looked really bad on switch yeah that did Um, not look good no, and that comes out next week. Uh, Bandai Namco is releasing SD Gundam Battle Alliance later this year. I actually thought this looked fun um, because they mentioned you could like co- do like four player co op with this online. And from what they showed, I thought it looked fun. And I'm not like a huge Gundam fan or anything, but it just mm-hmm. it looked like a pretty solid game. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then this is a game that we heard about that might show up at like a xbox or 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 sony event i think um chrono cross radical dreamers edition and it's an hd remaster of the playstation game that came out like 20 years ago i think came out in 2000 Mm -hmm. uh it has a new newly enhanced soundtrack uh and then it also includes radical dreamers from the satella view uh system uh, with the game which is like a text-based adventure set in the chrono cross world so like i thought when this first came on i was like okay chrono cross that's cool and then they started showing the footage and it looked so freaking choppy that i was like who <laughs> who cannot get a playstation game running on switch <laughs> yeah and i'm i'm a little confused if this is I mean, I'm sure it is. I mean, th- th- there was rumors before that Sony was getting like uh, an exclusive, like the remake of this. Yeah. And I think people thought it was going to be a much more ambitious remake. This is just like the old game with the characters, like, you know, rezzed up, it seems like. Yeah, it doesn't look great <laughs> from what they showed. It just, I mean, even just your characters in the overworld, like walking along the map, the frame rate was like stuttering. It looked really bad, I thought. But uh, um, I it guess is I, coming out. I, I didn't re- honestly. I, I probably wasn't focusing that much. I what didn't really notice like the frame rate, but I wasn't really paying attention. But I will say it. It looks graphics wise. It seems like this is what they did with um, Final Fantasy seven VII and eight that they put it on the Switch. It was like. Mm-hmm. The same type of thing where it was, it's like the same game and then just like the characters are up a little. Um, so it doesn't seem like it's too high effort either way, but, um, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Um, uh, you want to do the next one? Yeah, sure. So, um, then they had a bigger trailer on, uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land, which is March 25th. And I think this looks pretty good. I've, I've been riding the wave on this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right, I've been, Kirby I, wave. <laughs> yeah i've been kind of going i've been kind of i was really high on it when it was announced then i kind of went down a little bit and i think i'm back at a reasonable level now i went from like a 10 to a 5 and now i'm like at a 8 um yeah <laughs> uh yeah i think it looks pretty good i i think that it's more 3d than i thought i i like my biggest worry was that they were advertising it as this big 3D game, but it was yeah. really just like, you know, like uh, straight. Yeah, you're like viewing it in 3D, but you're following a very, very linear path. And I do think that it's still that is kind of what it is, but they look more open. Like it looks like you can, oh, you can go to a area to your left and there's like another room you can enter and things like that. So I don't know. I think it looks better. And I like all I like all the like there was flying and driving cars and things like that yeah the mouth mode (laughs) mouthful mode (laughs) yeah that was a really cool uh new thing they showed and i'm with you like i i was 
pretty cool on this game. I I thought it looked great from the first trailer. Thought it looked kind of meh in the second trailer. And now the mouthful mode where Kirby like eats a car and it gets stuck <laughs> in his mouth and now he's a, he could now you like assume the power of the car. The vending machine really won me over where you're like spitting cans spitting out stuff. of your mouth as a vending machine. Yeah. I thought that was awesome uh and pretty creative. So Yeah, I also thought um I, I also think it's cool that um we kind of already kind of knew this from the last trailer, the that you're like building up this town, that you have like a hub world um, that you go back to and it builds up with new buildings as you do it. But also I thought it was cool that you can upgrade your copy abilities. Um, uh, that was cool. I mean, that adds something to the game where it's like, you know, typically you get one copy ability from one enemy and it's always the same throughout the game. And it sounds like now you can upgrade it, um, you know, by whatever you got to collect something. And then when you get that copy ability, it's more, it's better. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of like, I, I don't think they've done a, a copy upgrade in the Kirby games before. Like that's, I don't think neat, so. Yeah. Kind of a neat next step for it. Um, and yeah, this one comes out March 25th. Uh, I'll probably be getting that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get that. I'm getting I it. wish it was like 30 bucks, but I know it's Nintendo and it's never going to happen. So <laughs> I'm like that's it. what I want to spend on Kirby is 30, 40 bucks. I'll do the 60 probably, but like yeah. That's yeah. that's like where my excitement level is. Like I'd rather spend 40, but I'll probably just end up doing it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> um so then they <laughs> so then they talked about MLB the show 22 in a weird way they introduced it by having those two baseball players come out. I don't know. <laughs> It was one guy. <laughs> oh, I didn't get it. Uh, it was Shohei Otani. Uh, and they were like, here's Shohei Otani, the hitter, and Shohei Otani, the pitcher. Oh, God. Uh, so he was like wearing a batting helmet on one side and a pitching hat on the other, or like a fielding hat on the other. Uh, but yeah, uh, I thought it, this looked pretty horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, that, and that's kind of like, that's kind of the expectation I had when I saw that this was coming. Like, this is a straight up, this is like a PS5 game yeah. technically i mean i'm sure it's gonna be on ps4 too i don't know but it's yeah. like this is a pretty next gen game so i would not imagine it will run that great on the switch no i don't think it will and it looked kind of choppy and low res and bad just not not a fun if you only have a switch and you want to play baseball like i would recommend super mega baseball 3 because that game is super fun i mean i know that's more arcadey than sim but if you have an Xbox or PlayStation, like a, a series, Xbox series or a PS4 or 5, like I know this game's hitting Game Pass on day one for Xbox. So like that would, I think would be a much better place to play it. Um, I think the show was supposed to release on Switch last year and it never came out. <laughs> so now they are, they're doing it this year. But uh, I don't um, know. so that was that. I did really like the I liked the old grumpy narrator. They oh used. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah, that was <laughs> for funny. that game. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, then they had a, a couple collections. They kind of hot, said, "Oh, get ready for these collections." And so first was the Kingdom Hearts collection. Um, those are all going, but they're all cloud. They're all going up for sale tomorrow, I believe. You can get them individually or as a pack. Um, it's just I, I'm not a fan of cloud. I I, I, down, I downloaded the demo actually because I do want to play Kingdom Hearts games and it was all right. But you know, as with any of these cloud things, it's like it's just a it's not perfect. And it's like if I'm mm. gonna pay to buy the game, I don't want it to feel like I'm streaming it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I think these are thirty dollars each or something. Uh, yeah, I read I'm that not, it's not ninety dollars sure. for all three games, oh, Jesus. which is just nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, for cloud versions of Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah, and that's that's really a bummer because like I, the first two can one hundred percent run on the Switch, and like yeah, uh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. I I want to play those because um, I played them when I was younger, but never beat them, and um, yeah, but I will not be. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not touching them. <laughs> so then they had. Uh, Klonoa, um, a collection of Klonoa, which if anyone doesn't know these games, well, first off, I haven't played the second one, but the first game was on the original PlayStation, and it's like, 
I, I think it was one of those where kind of at the same time they were, it was another one of those like a two ish, two D ish kind of three D ish platformer. And was it were, on Dreamcast? It, I feel the, like I played it on. Dreamcast. I think the second one might have been. Um, okay. Yeah, it, it's. It, I remember when the first one came out, it was another one of Sony's attempts at like this being a mascot. Like they wanted it to be oh, like a, okay. a, Mar- a Mario. So it was like kind of like a Mario game. But I loved the first game. Like it, it was awesome. I mean, at least when I was a kid, I haven't played it in so long. Um, so I, I hope it still um, holds up. I'm definitely going to get this because I like played that game. I beat it multiple times when I was a kid. So, um, oh, nice. Yeah, I, I'm excited. Yeah, this comes out July eighth. It looked really good. It looked really clean. Like it looked like it was running well on the Switch, um, and mm-hmm. it looks really fun. So yeah, I think I'll I'll take a dip into the uh, Clonoa pool and see yeah. what's going on there. Yeah, I, I mean it's like a yeah. I mean, I, I, you know what it's like. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, a platformer. It's a platformer. <laughs> cool bosses, cool areas, cool puzzles. Yeah, it, yeah. it's good. Um, then there was Portal, which that was like kind of random. That was weird. Uh, yeah, I mean that that's great. I just I don't know. I just what wasn't I expecting that, I guess. Um yeah, yeah, I was not expecting that at all. Yeah, Portal uh 1 and 2 if anyone doesn't know what those are, they're very very big games. Um they were yeah. um shooters. Yeah, well shooties. Kind of like a puzzle more, I feel like you're shooting yeah. por- shooting puzzles or shooting portals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and then they had i don't know how this is pronounced live like, alive did he say did he say it like yeah that? <laughs> they said that in the direct okay yeah. live alive yeah so i it sounds like this was a snes game that was released in japan only um and they're remaking it in hd 2d um yeah. and i'm in I, I, <laughs> it looks really good. It yeah. looks really awesome. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's uh yeah, some sort of RPG story where you play it's really like five completely different stories and completely different um like styles of gameplay, which is sweet. Yeah. Um yeah, I, I don't know anything about it. I've not I never had heard of it. I um but I, I'm I pretty much will probably buy anything that is HD two D. It's like my favorite art style of anything um so i'm definitely gonna give this a shot it looks fun yeah i'm i really like the hd 2d style too um and it's just it's weird that square enix is like we'll do live alive in hd 2d but none of the final fantasies yet have gotten hd 2d hopefully that's coming i don't know if it is but or or like uh, chrono trigger like yeah or chrono trigger or like a big game that people actually are like yeah clamoring for like i have never been playing games for years never once heard of live alive i mean obviously i know it's a japanese only release but um i've never heard anyone be like you know what i really want (laughs) is a live alive yeah (laughs) hd 2d remake yeah and that's not i'm not saying it's not gonna be good but i'm just you know yeah and they had done so yeah the the first one with this hd 2d was that oct was octopath um and then they announced triangle strategy and uh-huh. then they had announced they announced Dragon Quest three. They were remaking in HD two D. That oh, was like I forgot about that. Yeah. And like once they announced that, I was like, okay, so now the floodgates are open where they can just remake anything with this. Yeah. And this is the next one w- that's announced, and it's just funny that it's like. <laughs> yeah, it is funny that this is the next one. <laughs> yeah, you could have picked anything from the library, and I, I actually I actually Googled it like right after ended. I had really good ratings. I think it all had, had like a ninety one percent or something. So um sounds like it was a good game so i'm definitely gonna try it out cool uh was the next the next one was nintendo switch sports nintendo switch sports so this is like i mean it's wii sports upgraded for updated for the nintendo switch basically except it's um it's like new character models and everything it's gonna include tennis bowling the sword mini game chambara i probably mispronounced that um new new sports will have badminton volleyball and soccer uh you can use the leg strap from ring fit adventure if you want uh for the soccer portion and um it's gonna have online play uh i'm really excited to play the bowling and tennis and i mean i'm gonna try them all but like this this was again out of left field we had heard rumors of a new casual game coming to switch 
everyone thought it was going to be a sequel to one, two switch. And then we got a sequel to Wii sports, which is, yeah. I th- I mean, I wouldn't have hated a sequel to one, two switch. Cause I had fun with that game for like a little while, but Nintendo Switch Sports is much better than yeah. One Two Switch Two. <laughs> yeah, and it sounds like even um, I don't know if you one someone who well Emily Emily Rogers had had talked about this, and then Nate the Hate was talking about it on his podcast, and I just saw him on Twitter like respond to someone about this, and was like, "No, this is not at all what I was talking about. This is awesome." <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I don't know. Maybe there is a One Two Switch sequel coming down the line, but this is this is much better. Um, yeah. And this was a like a very welcome surprise, yeah. Uh, and I'm super pumped to play it. It's gonna have. Um, so Nintendo said they need to test certain technical aspects of the online infrastructure before releasing the game. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. I mean, it's about time they tested their shitty online. But <laughs> uh, so I think it's like next weekend, like February 18th, they're gonna do an open online test for this game. So. We'll be able to play it pretty soon, and then it officially releases April 29th. Yep. Um, yeah, so that Oh, and they're cool. going to release Golf in the Fall. Yep, they're releasing <laughs> Golf in the Fall, yeah. Um, was there something else? I felt like there was another thing they were going to... They said... Uh, there was, oh, no. There was going to be an update for the yeah, soccer yeah. game um, about so you, using the leg strap yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. I don't know. You'll yeah. have to Google that. I don't know the details on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then it was... How do we say this now? Taco no Tatsujin. Taiko. Taiko <laughs> Rhythm. no Tatsujin. <laughs> Rhythm Festival. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> drum game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got nothing to say about that. How about you? Uh, I mean, it looks... I've seen these games before. It looks yeah. just like the other ones, except it has, like, Nintendo songs, and um, looks pretty fun if you're into drum games. I don't know. And it's going to have a subscription service. That's about it. Yeah. Um, then they did like, like I mentioned, then they, then they went into, um, the triangle strategy section, which was just really short, which is f- totally fine. I mean, the game's yeah. coming, the game's coming out in like three weeks. Um, I just was expecting like a, to have more of a focus. Um, yeah, they just talked about it for like 30 seconds and a new demo came out today, which they did the same thing with Octopath Traveler. And I think it's a really good idea where, you know, it's a new demo and it's, the first it says it's the first three chapters of the game and then it carries over to the full game if you buy it and that was when octopath came out they did that same thing a month before and that was what got me to for sure buy that game was because i love that demo and then square also did that with dragon quest uh eight whatever that one that they added advertised forever uh or Dra- not dragon quest eight dragon quest 11 s they did that oh, sa- okay. same thing where they had like a pretty sizable demo of like five hours that that was just the start of the game um so yeah this seems like it's the first few hours of the game um so i'm just gonna, i'm definitely gonna try that out oh yeah <clears throat> definitely gonna try the uh try the demo again i did play the initial demo for a little while and liked it um but yeah i'm gonna uh, seems like a good day for a triangle strategy demo again yeah. so i'm gonna give that another shot yep um yeah another hd 2d so uh, i'm in uh, then, oh, they did, yeah. then they had a little section on Cuphead, the delicious last course, which was cool because I think that's the first footage we've seen of it, right? Mm. I mean, they announced it at the they game announced Awards. it. No, they they showed. Uh, I think they've shown footage of this. Oh, I don't know. But I do remember seeing the footage, like when it came on screen during the direct, though, and I was like, oh my god, this game looks so awesome! No. Like that that boss with like the huge mouth, like the beard and mouth, and you're like jumping yeah. around. Um, it looks so good. I can't wait for more Cuphead. Yeah, and I, I think we talked about this before, but I'm of the mindset that this has got to be pretty big DLC. I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's going to be the size of the first game. Yeah, that, that's just like all I can think is it's taken this long. I feel like it's got to at least be close to it. I mean, at least half the size of the first game. Um, so, yeah, that, that's really cool. Uh, next one we had was this... I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> they announced a free update for Metroid Dread. It's not a content update, uh, but it is. Uh, they're adding two new modes. So there's going to be a Dread mode, which is one hit kill, which like, so if you get touched by anything, you're dead and you have a game over. And then there's a rookie mode, uh, which increases your health. So um, both very cool. 
and I'm gonna definitely try dread mode and see see how far I make it before I quit. Yeah. And both of these are launching today, and then they're also gonna add a boss rush mode coming later. But I don't I don't remember what date if they even gave a date. Maybe uh, in April. I don't remember. That sounds right though. Yeah. So they're gonna do a boss rush mode later. The other two modes coming today. Um, did not expect a Metroid Dread update at all. So that was that was pretty tight. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's it's nothing huge. I'm probably not gonna, pl- I'll, I'm not gonna play the game on dread mode. I may try it, but <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I'm not gonna uh, play the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's welcome, and I guarantee that there's a lot of people that honestly will like that. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Um, then they announced Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings have went onto Nintendo Switch Online, which Earthbound Beginnings, I believe, is mother. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm excited about this because I've never beat Earthbound. I've, I've played it like multiple times, but I always kind of like bounce off of it. And I think when I have something on the switch, I'm less likely to do that because I can play it in my bed. So I'm excited to, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to tonight play the triangle strategy demo. Oh and yeah. As, and as soon as I beat that, I'm probably going to get on Earthbound and just Pop on Earthbound and, 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 and play that and play that all the way through. <laughs> Uh, are you going to start with beginnings or just go straight to Earthbound? Nah, I'm going to go straight into Earthbound. Okay. Um, I I have the the SNES Mini, and it, Earthbound is on there, and I've started it two or three times, and it just doesn't hook me for whatever reason. Um, but I might give it another shot. Uh, I know a lot of people have been waiting a long time for Earthbound to hit the NSO service, so mm-hmm. I'm glad it's finally here. Um, these are the first. SNES and NES games to hit NSO since last summer. Yeah. That's so crazy. like it's about time the people who didn't pay for the expansion pack are getting getting a little extra content. Um uh yeah, very cool that these are coming. Earthbound Beginnings, the NES game. I didn't even, I've never even seen like a frame of that game, so it was kind of cool to see that on the direct today. Yeah. And um I don't know, do you think this means they might eventually bring mother three to the u.s <laughs> yeah i i don't know i i have no idea. <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but i mean I, I i did think this was cool i i it was it was a cool announcement to like i don't know to drop it out i honestly i was expecting more i thought they were gonna be like and there's also super mario rpg and like yeah a bunch maybe of next month yeah <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> maybe in six months yeah. um but both, had, both of those are hitting later today yeah i think we said that though yeah, yeah. then they had uh just like a what do you call it like a little montage montage that just had it's had zombie army 4 dead war getsu fuma den undying moon demon slayer lego brawls and two point campus personally i'm not interested in any of those how about you no (laughs) i'd never even heard of lego brawls uh before so that was like kind of interesting to see uh i missed zombie army one two and three so (laughs) unless they just jump in unless the first game is just called zombie army (laughs) four like i don't know yeah i've never Uh, even heard of that no um so yeah they just did a little basically a little uh shit montage <laughs> of like a bunch of games that i don't think have a huge fan base fan base like two point campus like i know people like the two point games um mm. but they're not this was just like a fun way to to get through get through some stuff <laughs> yeah um yeah and then so uh, then they went on to the I kind of honestly, I kind of thought this is what he started out by saying. I know so many people have been playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And as soon as he said that, I was like, I didn't th- my mind didn't jump to is he going to announce Mario Kart 9? I think probably a lot of people did. I was just thinking, oh, they're getting they're adding DLC. And, <laughs> and sure enough, that's what it is. Um, it's going to. First off, I think it's important to note that. At the end, they said, if you have the expansion pack, it's going to come with it. So that's awesome. Yeah, that changed um, my whole point of view on this. Um, but yeah, so it's 48. It's going to be 48 new tracks, they said, yeah. by, by the end of 2023. Um, you kind of texted me being like, oh, fuck this or something. <laughs> 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 but that was before they announced that it was free. And I think, you know, I think some people will feel like that because 
this confirms absolutely that there's not going to be another Mario Kart until 2024 at the earliest. Um, at the absolute earliest. Yeah. I mean, probably 25 at, yeah. at this point. Yeah. So I think we can all, I think it's pretty reasonable to assume that whenever the next Switch comes out, that'll be like a launch game with it. I, I, I am confident. It's probably that, a good bet. Yeah. I am pretty confident that they, they haven't just been sitting on Mario Kart 8. Like they've definitely been working on something. You mean nine? <laughs> Yeah, nine. Like, they've definitely been working on something. It's just that as the game keeps selling, I remember thinking earlier, like, how have they not put any DLC out for this? Like, this it has the big, you know, however many sales, over like 30 million sales. Yeah. And, and this is a great way to do it, honestly, because you're either going to get people a huge portion of that that's going to buy this DLC for 25, you just free 25 bucks from 20 million people. Or you're going to say, all right, well, I might as well just get the expansion pack if it comes with it. Yeah. So um, I think it's a pretty good idea. Yeah. I, I mean, as soon as, I, like you said, like as soon as I saw it's coming to expansion pack and I don't have to pay any more money for this, I was like, that's great. That's one, I hate this term, but that is how you add value yeah. to uh, the, the expansion pack service. Like something like this is perfect for that. And um yeah, like you said, 48 courses over the next two years, basically, because they said they'll yeah. all be released by the end of 23, and they're going to be coming out in batches of eight, I think, right? Yeah, that sounds right, because that would be eight, 16, 24, 20, 20. Yeah, yeah, six, yeah. Ba- Crunch- six batches. Yep, that sounds right. Yeah. Um, first wave is coming March 18th, so not too long. Um, and yeah, they're all going to be remastered courses from previous games. Yeah, including- I did... S- yeah, including cool. Mario Kart Tour. Yes, that's which, what I was going like, to say. Uh, I, I mean, no, I would but, love to play I, those on console. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was going to say that. I, I noticed that um, when I was looking. And yeah, that's awesome because I've definitely not played. I mean, like I played Mario Kart Tour for one day. Yeah. <laughs> hopped like, off ah, it. I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, that's awesome. So I, I assume it's just going to be like, we'll just get two cups, um, you know, yeah. for for each of them. So I think it's pretty cool um you know if i don't gotta pay I'll, I'll take it yeah yeah i mean it's definitely a good way to expand like because i mean they released the numbers what like last week or two weeks ago and mm-hmm. mario kart 8 deluxe has sold like close to 45 million uh units Insane. and it's not slowing down at all it's just <laughs> it's just still going so i mean it's pretty smart by nintendo to just do the dlc rather than you know, cut the sales on that and release Mario Kart 9. Selfishly, I was like, I've been playing the same Mario Kart since 2012 or whatever. Like, I want a new new one. (laughs) But uh, uh, unfortunately, it's a a business. So (laughs) they they have to do what's smart. (laughs) And I mean, like, man, like you just saying that, like $45 million, I mean, 45 million (laughs) copies, like, even if... It's by far the best-selling game on Switch. So, yeah, even if a third of the people end up getting this, that's that's a 15 million people get, paying 25 bucks that, that just or yeah. or getting the expansion pack. Like, I mean, yeah, it it's pretty crazy and for I mean, how many tracks are in the game? I think how many I'm trying to think know. of how many I'm trying to think <clears throat> of how many cups there are. I feel like there's like six, I think. I feel like there might be eight. For some reason, I have okay. eight eight in my head. So if there was eight cups, what's that? I mean, it's only 64. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, but this is like almost doubling what it is, is really what I, all I was getting at. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, it probably is doubling. Probably yeah. has 48 courses. Um, yeah, it's pretty great because Mario Kart 8 is such a good game. And mm-hmm. uh, just add, I mean, this is 100% a reason to go back and play um and a lot of people were saying well you can't add that many courses without adding new drivers but they absolutely can uh they, they yeah. as much as i want diddy kong in the game like i don't think he's coming yeah. yeah but also you know like i remember i remember a while ago nintendo said like we're looking at adding dlc to a lot of our existing games and then like the first dlc they announced was for captain toad i yep. think yeah <laughs> And that was like years after that game came out. Yeah. And they did uh they did that huge Animal Crossing 3DS update like four or five years after that game came out. Like Nintendo's 
actually like absolutely not afraid to just drop dlc for a game that's several years old and that's like that's kind of awesome kind of like yeah. that yeah um so yeah then then the final clo- closer was xenoblade chronicles 3 i since i kind of already talked about this um yeah i mean neither of us are big xenoblade fans i and again i'm gonna state there could be one day where i come on here and <laughs> and i and i am a fan like I, <laughs> I because I, everything about these games i like i think the thing i don't like i don't like the way the battle system is um mm-hmm. it because uh, do you know how how you fight in this game it's like it's, it's kind of like, it's like kind of auto automatic, yeah isn't yeah it? you run up to enemies and you automatically start swinging your sword and then like as you're like you're like filling up a gauge as you automatically hit them and then once it like gets to a point you can choose between like four moves like a pokemon thing or oh, like, okay like on top of you automatically swinging but mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I think I just don't like that that system. I don't know why. I like having. Con- I like to swing my damn sword. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but but we'll see. I, I I don't know. Um, it sounds like this is. Um, I know Xenoblade One and Xenoblade Two. They it was completely different characters, completely different. I I think completely different worlds. Um, and it sounds like this one is like in the future of both of those. So okay. like it's it's these both the first and the second game coming together and it's like thousands of years later which you could tell by like it looked like it was more advanced and there was like robots and stuff so yeah um yeah I don't know well I'm ex- I mean I'm happy for people that, that uh, there's a lot of people that are huge fans of Xenoblade so it's good for them uh, obviously I would say like the biggest bummer I, I I would say with this direct is just that and the, I think you probably feel the same way it's just that like the opener and closer both didn't do much for me. And those yeah. are, and those are, and those are usually <laughs> yeah. the biggest things. <laughs> yeah. This unfortunately is the second time a direct has ended with a Xenoblade game. <laughs> and I never want it to happen again. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. They're just not for me. Like I'm, I'm glad I don't hate them. I just, I'm glad other people like them and, and enjoy playing them. That's great. Um, I just love Nintendo directs so much. And so like when, when the closer's not for me, I get, I get kind of pissed off about it, <laughs> but it's trash, <laughs> it's trash, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's fine. Like it's, it was a, it was a pretty, pretty solid direct. Um, there was a lot of content, a lot of weird announcements. They were flying through in the beginning and like dropped a bunch of weird stuff, like the portal stuff and, uh, the Mario Kart 8 DLC. And then yeah, ending with Xenoblade. Um, I'm not gonna play it. <laughs> it comes yeah. out in September. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so we still don't know like what. I mean, obviously, Breath of the Wild two is potentially November December. They did say 2022. Um, I, I imagine that's like late November that they're aiming for with that. Um, yeah, but you I'm... know that kind of leaves open October, I guess. Yeah, I'm. Uh putting my foot down here well that i don't know if that's the right (laughs) right phrase here but i think if anything and i think i was texting you this i think if anything this direct confirmed that breath of the wild 2 is coming this year in my opinion only because nothing was announced for the hall nothing was announced (laughs) for the holiday didn't mention zelda one time oh yeah this confirms (laughs) breath of the wild 2 is coming out this year (laughs) They, they didn't mention anything for the holiday and they didn't announce a Wind Waker or a Twilight Princess. And I think if they would have announced Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, I would have been more nervous about yeah, it because I think they're just, hold, I think they're just holding on to those. And yeah. I, I just don't think I do not see them being like, Oh shit, this got a last minute delay. So let's put out Wind Waker and Twilight Princess as our holiday game. I just, I don't know. I don't see them doing that. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I think unless, uh, yeah, I mean, unless something crazy happens towards the finish line, I, I still think they're aiming to to get Breath of the Wild 2 out this year. Yeah, I think you're probably right. I mean, the other thing is they also said in the, uh, before the direct was that they're focusing on games that yeah. are coming out in the first half of 2022. And that's, that game is definitely not. Um, but yeah, and yeah they, I mean. It, they really did too. Probably more than any direct ever this one yeah. stuck, stuck to its word. I think Xenoblade was the only thing that wasn't first half, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't remember anything else that uh that they like anything big that they announced. 
I mean, um, what the hell was that game called? The Square Enix game. Oh yeah, uh, that was July, maybe. Oh no, it was um oh, shit, I'm looking for it. Front mission second is oh, coming yeah. <laughs> sometime in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I guess that could be that could be first half twenty twenty two. Yeah. You never <laughs> know. Just, it's it's wide open for that game. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, yeah, I, I guess I hadn't thought about that until now. They really did stick to it. I mean, they're kind of notorious for being like, this is gonna focus on the next, you know, winter. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I remember in that September direct, they said this will fa- focus on games coming out in the winter. And the very first thing they announced was like something for the next summer, or like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, was it like the Splatoon three? N- it was uh the very the first thing they announced was the Monster Hunter Rise DLC, oh, and that okay. was like summer twenty twenty two. Yeah. Um, and but that was a direct that was supposed to focus on winter. Um, but anyways, so. Yeah, I th- um, <laughs> pretty pretty good direct. Yeah, it was pretty good. It wasn't like the best one ever. I, uh, but it was honestly. I think they've been. I think directs have been pretty solid since yeah. the year off. Like yeah, because they, they they've had they had one last spring, last summer, last September. This one, and I think all four of them were probably around the same level. I don't think any of them have been like the best thing ever but every single one of them has had a few things that i I like a lot yeah definitely um they are still like far and away better than any xbox presentation or yeah. sony state of play for sure what does xbox call theirs i forget now uh uh well forward or, matter. i don't know <laughs> i don't know no that's ubisoft <laughs> ubisoft oh, yeah. forward at the any i mean the directs are like so much like they're produced with more care than any of the other like video game presentations that are similar to this. They're still just the most fun to watch and they move at a quick pace. They have great personalities like the, the two hosts who are on it all the time. And mm. uh, I just love them. Can't wait for the next one already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Fa- favorite announcements were definitely um, Mario striker battle, whatever. And um uh nintendo switch sports and the mario i think the mario kart dlc so those three things i'm super pumped about i mean already knew about advanced wars and kirby obviously um but there was those were my favorites yes um yeah anything else uh i don't think so i think that'll do it cool all right well thank you guys for listening and uh we will be back with another episode here one of these days. Thanks for listening. <laughs> we'll be back pretty soon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can follow us on Twitter at GM Games Podcast or email us at goodmorninggamespodcast at gmail.com. Um, yeah, we'll be back probably we s- soon. We, s- <laughs> we still haven't done an, we still haven't done an uh, episode on uh, Legends Arceus, which I did just beat. Um, oh, yeah. So, so, so we, we should probably whip one of those out. Yeah, we'll bounce back with that. Um, yeah, yeah. We, we, we can't do that on this one. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for listening, and we will see ya. We'll see ya. We'll be back sometime in the future. <laughs> <laughs>